Dr. Paul, you know, at this time, people have anxiety. Um, we need to take care of our mental health along with our physical health. And that's where you come in because right now, I think people are so overwhelmed with the coronavirus news going on. Am I right? You are very correct. And uh, right now, it's really, it's really hitting home right now with, uh, with this dynamic and fluid news pieces that we get from the government agencies and local agencies at the state level. And of course, with the, with the president, they're giving daily updates on everything. So it is it, the unknown causes a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety in people. Yeah. So what are some of the things we need to look at uh, as we're going through our mental health? So uh, the, the question is, if, if what do we what do people do during this time to kind of maintain their their mental health and some things that they can maybe do to combat some of the social isolation that's been imposed and also recommended. And uh, it, it is a big change for a lot of people. And uh, I think for for the I think a, a, a home piece, a, a home run piece, just to know right off the bat is basically educate yourself a, a little bit on the virus and and I think some things also concentrate on is not to engulf yourself for people that are home and working from home there is a lot of opportunity to connect with uh, social media uh, the TV it can really consume you for 24 hours seven days a week and uh, it I think people need to limit themselves they need to limit themselves choose one or two good sources and Take a break from it, too. I mean, I think that's number one because it definitely can consume people. Yeah. What are some tips I can uh, take and our viewers can, too, about, of course, talking with other people about their mental health? Are there questions I should ask maybe my kids or one of my family members? Sure. So I think... Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat the question again one more time? So I was, so what should I do about, of course, family members and their mental health? Is there questions I should ask them or things I should do to help them? Right, right. Well, I think for the most important part, especially for the youngsters that are out of school and also for maybe some relatives or loved ones that are out of work because of the uh, social isolation and some of the uh, uh, limits that have been imposed, not only here in Arizona, but also in other states as well. But I think you have to ask yourself and ask your, your, your children is, you know, you want to make sure that they're doing okay, and you also want to make sure that you try to maintain some routine, because any deviation from a daily routine can cause some strain and anxiety. So I think identifying those things that are changed in your life, and also try to keep a routine going, whether or not if you're working from home, uh, there are some things that you can do, dress up just like you're going to so. were the uh, imposed uh, limits that have been imposed on us. So, great. All right. Thank you, doctor, very much. And of course, we'll have information on how they can get a hold of you on aztv.com.